start with the more general uh, layer in terms of what defines energy policy and what it constitutes and then we'll go on to a slightly more complex view of the world. Uh, Oliver Wyman, uh, which is one of the best management consultants in the world, they do a report annually for the World Energy Council called the Energy Trilemma Report. The Energy Trilemma Report looks at three criteria and it evaluates every nation in the world along those three axes. Uh, those are energy security, uh, energy equality, and the environmental sustainability of that en of energy in that country, or the provision of energy in that country. So, energy security, we all know about that. That essentially entails as to how securely a country can ensure its electricity supply and, and overall energy supply. Uh, and that's a key consideration for governments. A lot of government decision making is driven by that uh, particular factor. So for example, when we talk about interconnections with India, the first question is how much dependent do we get on India in terms of imports? Uh, that's for Bangladesh. Other countries around the world have grappled with the same question. Uh, in, in places like Lesotho, uh, which is largely supplied by the South African grid, the government has very little security of the electricity infrastructure. Because for some reason, if South Africa loses power, Lesotho loses power as well. They have a lower score on energy security. So that's the security access of it. The second axis of it comes to the equality angle, which is around access and affordability. So that involves everybody having access to electricity and electricity that they can afford as well. There shouldn't be the concept of energy poverty. Uh, and if, for those who don't know what energy poverty is, energy poverty in the UK is defined as a situation where any household is spending more than 10% of their household income on energy, uh, in, whether it's energy or energy related services. Um, so energy needs to be affordable, it needs to be accessible for everybody, that's another great key criteria. And the final angle of it is environmental sustainability of your energy policy and, and the provision of electricity in your country. And that everybody talks about that in terms of the climate, uh, environmental sustainability and reducing your carbon footprint um, and uh, getting to a net zero agenda. Again, those are key criteria driving decision makers towards energy policy. So that's something that you can read up, and I highly recommend if you're interested, look it up. There's an annual report that comes out in every country. Um, but digging a little deeper, there are three interlinked uh, factors that really drive energy policy. We must remember, all policy, at the end of the day, is a political decision. It's politics that govern policy. And there's no hiding away from that fact. Therefore, the biggest and the largest influencer of any policy, whether that's energy policy or any other policy, is politics behind it. And, and I don't mean politics in a mean way. Politics is, is as much a socioeconomic system, uh, as much a socioeconomic institutional order, as it is anything else that we may see politics to mean over here uh, or in the rest of South Asia. Uh, so it's the broader institutional political structure and, and a whole variety of issues around politics that will drive energy policy. The second uh, core area or second key category in my view is the economics of it. Um, countries need to be able to pay for whatever electricity infrastructure that they buy. People need to be able to afford to pay it back. Uh, we can't have a country going bankrupt trying to pay its energy bills. So the economics piece of it, both from a national perspective as well as a micro-level household perspective, is very important. And then the final part is the social dynamics. Now, you would see that all three of them are very closely linked. We're talking about economics, which is essentially many people view as a social science. We're talking about politics, which is definitely a social science. And econ economics, in many cases, does drive political stances and decision making and the political direction that, that a country takes. Uh, but over here, when I'm referring to the social piece, I'm, I'm referring to the broader consumerism, the millennial movement, the new awareness of the demographics that we have around the decisions that governments make in relation to policy. So that's what I would say if we dig a little deeper. Uh, that's the three key factors that I would come up with. Um, and in Bangladesh, it's no different. Bangladesh is no different to any other country in the world. It's the same core challenges at a high level of energy security, 
energy equality and environmental sustainability, and at a deeper level it's politics, economics and societal pressures. So that's where we are, I believe.